How's it going guys? What I wanted to do in this video is show you all the bug bite calf holster. I know that some of you guys out there have asked me some questions about a photo that I recently shared and I just thought that I would make this video to show you just a little bit about this particular holster. Now for most people an ankle gun is something that uh, it's generally considered a good way to carry a backup gun. Some people will carry it that way, some people will not. It really depends on the individual. Uh, and there are a lot of different options out there for ankle carry. And if you are going to be carrying a gun on your ankle, whether it is your backup gun, uh, don't really recommend carrying a primary that way. But if it's your only option, then there you go. But if you are going to carry a gun on your ankle, you need to have a good quality holster. And the Bug Bite is one that is, I feel, that is a very good budget option. It is possibly one of the more comfortable options that I've used. Now, if you want to go out and spend the money and get something like a Galco or something like that, you can certainly get a real good holster, but they are typically a lot more expensive. You know, sometimes two to three times higher than what the Bug Bite is. Typically, if you ankle carry, you are going to be wearing some type of a boot cut jean. Uh, that way, it, it's a little looser. It makes uh, hiding your gun a little easier. It also makes it a little easier when, to get that pant leg up if you do need to access it. And what I am running in this bug bite holster is my 43X. This is typically not the kind of gun that you would run in this, but it is one that will work. Uh, with that softer material, however, one thing I will not do is run it with a round in the chamber. Okay, as you can see there, it is clear even though our magazine is loaded. And that is because I don't want anything to be able to get against that trigger. And another thing about the bug bite is the fact that it does have a magazine holder on the other side as well. You can keep a spare mag there. And it is an option if you don't have any other options of being able to carry a firearm. This particular holster has a calf strap right here that is just Velcro. That it's just a loose strap that kind of helps keep the tension on the upper portion of this to keep it from sliding down around your ankle. There is also a small zipper right down here on the bottom side that makes it a little easier opening up to where you can get it onto your leg. And they come in a couple of different sizes. It really depends on your leg. There's a chart on uh, Amazon that actually shows you where to measure and gives you an idea of the one that you need to go with. I will link that down in the description below. But it is a pretty good option for some people that may not be able to typically wear a normal holster. Guys, carrying on an ankle is not for everybody. Uh, you do need to be a little bit athletic to be able to get that gun out when you need it. Uh, it so it, it really depends on the individual and it does require a lot of practice. Also, if you ankle carry a firearm, it's a good idea to regularly clean that gun uh, probably a little more often what you would a typical concealed carry firearm just because it's down there close to your feet, dust and other things that you kick up while walking uh, have a greater chance at getting into that gun. So you always want to make sure that you clean your gun as well. But like I had mentioned earlier, this particular holster is probably the most comfortable budget ankle holster that I have found. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to check out all the links down in the description. I will include a link to where you can get the bug bite holster as well as a couple of others that you may be interested in. Let me know if you carry an ankle gun and let me know what kind it is. I'd be curious to know. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, click the notifications, visit my website at boomsticktactical.com, and we'll see you next time.